please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe apparently and hit that bell so you stay informed with the latest and greatest videos from this channel i'm also live every day i'm also live every day on twitch.tv slash hasanabi after 11 a.m pacific okay let's watch ninja talking about taxes on 50 million dollars you know, guys, just the other day, we had a great video here. Uh, Tim the Tatman had a little bit of a rant on Ninja's mixer sellout, what it did for the scene, and people hate on him for that move when they don't really hate on Shroud or, you know, they don't really realize what he did for the scene. Now we talk about maybe a particular moment that um, would be maybe some of the reason as to why people don't have the best of eyes towards a guy like Ninja. Now, if you guys know me, you know I'm a fan of Ninja. Um, I've, I've been called Nurse Kisser of, of a lot of streamers and creators out there. I just, I enjoy a lot of creators out there, Ninja being one of them. He took to his debut stream, which was a very, very lengthy stream, and started talking about paying taxes. He used a figure 50 million, I, I would say, with his mixer payout and other deals he has had. Probably likely close to what he did pull in in this past year or so. He talks about paying taxes on on that 50 million and how unfair it is. He even starts out by saying people are probably going to hate him for saying this and then he talks about it and at the very end if you guys listen to the very end of this clip even Jess his wife and manager is chiming in and asking him to stop. I, I think it's interesting to hear one of the wealthiest people in gaming talking about paying taxes and uh, not being very happy about doing so. But you know when I was 18 I mean dude, I, just, I, didn't even, I didn't even know I didn't even know how to do my taxes when I graduated high school man. Let alone, let alone understand how much money I have to pay in taxes at this point now. I don't think people will understand, and this is like, I mean, this is, this is, this might, this might sound, I mean, this is, this, people are gonna, people are going to take this the wrong way, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. I understand that having money pretty much is the number one comment people are going to say about what I'm about to say. Well, at least you have money. Do you know how much it blows if you make, let's say, $50 million, that $25 million of that literally gone in taxes? If you're not, you know, smuggling it out of the country oh, in freaking bank accounts? Man, Hassan. Poop. I, I, I really want people to try to actually picture working your ass off for a shitload of money. Let's just say, I keep, let's just keep using 50 million because I think that's a pretty solid number. You know, because most people that pay their taxes don't work their fucking asses off. So I'm glad that Ninja needs people to picture how hard it is to work their asses off. Right? And then, someone, and then the government is just like, hey, we're going to take 25 million of that. State and federal, right? If someone would have told me in high school or in middle school, hey, the money that you're going to make for the rest of your life, half of that, if you make a certain amount, is gone. And it's going to go into what, you know, your elected officials are going to, you know, allocate the funds to. So if you stay educated and vote for people who are going to do the things that you like, then, like, you know, you, you'll, you'll, probably, you'll be pretty happy, right? But that was not the case. Holy shit, man. Um, so, yeah. Tax the rich more. Mega Lol. But let me tell you what the issue is. I don't think the issue is taxing the Irish more. I think we have to find the people who are, you know, the billionaires and the millionaires and the companies that are illegally not paying taxes and or evading slash hiding taxes. Because if, imagine, like, you don't, like, why tax someone one more percent when you can just go out of your way a little bit more to find the people who are hiding the money that they need to pay taxes on? You know what I'm saying? But right? Like instead of instead of like cuz dude like I'm 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 one of the like the 1% of the 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 wealth. I'm paying my shit. 
I'm paying, I'm paying, again, we're going back to the 50 mil. I'm paying my 25 mil. The guy, the company who makes a, a 500 million or a billion or 10 billion, or, and, and they don't pay shit because they know how to, like, what, what fucking, what makes me uh, upset about this is like, the first part of the fucking tag is, is, is insane. Like, but even in America, it's like, it's hard to criticize that take in America when people say like, well, where the fuck is that money going? Because it sucks. Because our government doesn't really spend that money wisely. But if you understand how things work, you understand that like, of course you have to pay that because of course, uh, like, of course you have to pay that. Otherwise, how are you going to fund social safety nets that people desperately need uh, to make this country better overall? But then like half the time, it literally goes into some missile program you know what i mean that's gonna yeet away that's gonna erase a f uh like school bus full of kids in yemen great which sucks but even a small fraction of that going to roads and building infrastructure still money well spent overall schools money well spent overall that's just it is what it is but that's the reality the second part of his take is absolutely correct why the fuck are billionaires evading taxes? Why the fuck are they not paying at all? Like, it's, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. But we, we should raise taxes on the wealthy. Like, if you're making $50 million dollars a year, dude, like, if you're making $50 million dollars a year, like, how are you going to complain that half of that is going to the government? Like, what are you trying to do with it? It's not like you're using the income. It's not like you're, like, You've already spent a big chunk of that on rebuilding your business, which is deductible and it's not taxed. You've already put a, a bunch of it back into your, like you already put a bunch of it back into your, uh, like to increasing your capital. And then the rest of it, you're not doing shit with that. So what do you want? Like, why do you want to keep it in your pocket? Let that shit recirculate. Let that shit build roads. Couldn't Ninja literally just donate to charity the amount of money he pays in taxes and write it off? I just, I fucking hate that shit too. Th that entire system is so fundamentally flawed, so broken. I hate it. Why do people listen to Ninja? Can you imagine getting political commentary? Well, I mean, he's just, I don't think there's a problem with him saying his feelings about this. Most people, um, most people wouldn't even admit this shit. They have the wherewithal to be like, this is bad because it looks bad, especially when you're in the middle of a pandemic where like people are suffering uh like complaining about how you only uh brought in uh, 25 million dollars after half of that was taxed is you know i don't even think that that's what happened but um you talking about having a problem with the charity system as a whole or yeah i i hate i hate uh the way that charity works it's just like it's a tax shelter it's a tax write-off for the most part um we don't have a good way of of figuring out where all that money goes to there's just so many different problems it also creates this like narrative that we shouldn't be giving it to the government we should be like figuring out our own like figuring out in a way with extra steps how that money gets spent like no that money should go to the government so the government redistributes those resources to areas of need there should be no need for charities ninja literally took 50 bags of fucking 50 bags to fucking stream on another website for nine months and get made the butt of jokes for a year or two. You shouldn't be crying. You only got 25 bags. That's true. That like, I mean, it's smart. It's a smart decision. He was able to capitalize on it. Uh, but he has a good point though. He has to pay 50% of his earnings to tax when billionaires don't. He's rich, but not rich enough to evade tax. No, he's rich enough to evade tax. But if billionaires pay tax then his tax percentage will be lower, he's still a worker in comparison to Bezos. Absolutely. He is just like I am. He is 100%. So I do get the second part of what he's saying. The second part of what he's saying is absolutely correct. But what I'm simply stating is when you're, when you're in the fucking tens of millions range, complaining about your, uh, complaining about half your shit getting slashed is, it gets to be really silly. And to say, come on, bro, just find tax shelters forehead is also dumb because he's literally not doing that. He's, he's playing the game correctly and not engaging in, uh, uh like tax shelters and shit like that. So 
just use a tax haven forehead is is also fucked up so okay let's finish this freaking they have the web of i'm just saying if you get those guys if you just make sure that they pay it you don't have to raise me anyways my wife's facetiming me and i love it yes i'm done <laughs> she's literally it's tyler stop tyler I feel like uh, I feel like Shane Dawson when he was on Instagram Live. Get off. And this is a uh, man, 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 man. This is tough. This is where the job gets tough, guys, because I talk about so many people that I am fans of, and sometimes it's not in the best of light. I just uh, I wonder why why you do this on your first stream back. Literally months ago, people found out you got paid out for a multi-year deal and, and the likes in the realms of $30 million for Mixer. You're making mad money and even Ninja begins with saying, probably shouldn't be saying this, but he does anyway. It just, um, it comes off to me at least. And again, please leave your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, not disingenuous, but it just, it rubs you the wrong way when Ninja has become probably the top paid gamer in the entire world and instantly returns to Twitch, signing another probably, you know, substantial uh, multi-million dollar deal and, and then is complaining about the taxes he is paying. Now, I have tried to understand what shoes he is in. Obviously, I am um, I'm not making those figures, right? This past week, we talked about esports pro players and revealing their salaries. Guys, I'll tell you. Maybe I'll tell you my salary one day. It might, su it might surprise you guys how little we're getting by. So it's, it's tough to fill the shoes of Ninja when I'm not making that kind of money. Although, I can try and realize his pain if I ever were to make... 50 million dollars in a single year and have to see 25 million go to the government meanwhile people are, are getting away with not paying that yes i would be very frustrated i like to think i speak from jessica's shoes his wife and manager as we have talked about in the past where where even she knows you just shouldn't say these things in front of an audience of tens of thousands of people who now know you are making a lot of money and then you're complaining about paying money in taxes and Maybe it's just me, but it's just, it seems controversial and it seems like it should have been avoided in the first place. And it sucks that I got to talk about this at all. I really do enjoy Ninja. Uh, I, I really enjoy his content. He has done so much for the scene out there. There are just, there are many moments where I, I wish he just would not have done that. This is certainly. Yeah, it's not, it's a, it's a bad take from optics. He didn't make 50 mil. He made 25 mil. That's how it is. I'm cringing so hard. You. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's a terrible take. But it stems from His name very legitimate Hashan. grievances I that most Americans have What's with the way that their tax America. dollars are being appropriated. Very legitimate uh, grievances that they have. And also a lack of education on like how they should uh, be spent or how they are being spent even currently with the uh, horrific distribution of it. That's literally not his take. What are you saying? But beyond that, the second part of his the second part of his complaints is, is a I do it right, pervert. and I get taxed. I do it right, and I get taxed. But all these other people that evade the system, they get away with it. Instead of raising my taxes, why don't they just raise the other people's taxes? Deranged, mm, I think that mentality absolutely works if you're under the million dollar a uh, million dollar a year range. Do you know what I mean? I think that I, that mentality is fine if you're His making $250,000 a year in annual household income. Like, if you're under the fucking 1%, you're, it's not like you're barely getting by. Like, but taxing those people more because those are the only people you can tax is, is silly when we should be taking a, a much stricter stance against uh, people who are uh, routinely evading oh, tax. Hassle, hassle, if you ask me personally, though, I don't have a problem with uh, getting taxed more. 250k is insane wealth. Okay, I, I don't know if you're an adult or not, but like $250,000 in annual household income for $250,000 for someone like myself is a lot of money. Okay, even though I'm living in Los Angeles, it's still a lot of money. $250,000 in annual income if you're living in LA with a fucking family and like two kids that's that's like that's still a lot of money but you're not like making ends meet you're living comfortably but you're still fucking middle class like it's not 
You're upper middle class. It's not my dad makes way more and we're in the upper middle class. Lived in Flynn my whole life. That kind of money seems crazy to me. Yeah. It completely depends on where you live and, and what you do as well. Guys, $250,000 a year is middle class if you're living in Los Angeles. It's upper middle class if you're living in Los Angeles. That's not a fucking insane take. Americans are considered middle income if they make two-thirds of the double of the U.S. median household income or about $45,200 to uh, $135,000 in 2016. If you live in Los Angeles and you make 250 k a year with, four fucking, with a family of four, you're not fucking caked at all. You're, you're doing well. You're definitely living well. But you're not exactly uh, caked the fuck up. For a lot of people, you are young right now. You sure about raising your taxes? You were freaking out this morning? No, I am. I am sure about it. As long as I can still pay for it. He's only saying that second part so he can justify himself for being a crybaby bitch over a few million taxes? For sure. Yes, insane. Yes, it's insane. Do you not know population averages? There's millions in LA on 50K a year with both parents. I live in New Jersey outside of New York and our household is 250K and we are poor for our neighborhood. Your class is not relative to where you live. If 250K is doing fine in LA, then LA is full of rich people. So someone making, so someone making $80,000 a year, a family of four making $80,000 a year in LA is just, that's a rich person. Uh, and and, and they're, they're, they should be doing fine. They're actually a part of the rich uh, group of individuals. Is that what you're trying to make? Is that the argument that you're trying to make here? Please tell that to the fucking nurse and the teacher family that barely makes 80k lives in like some fucking one bedroom east la apartment one bedroom east la apartment because like you're actually rich i know you're suffering right now because you grew up in california your entire life your neighborhood was fucking gentrified so you had to move out of it but the, everything that you know and your job opportunities are literally there so you're not gonna fucking you're not even wealthy enough to be able to move out but you're rich actually because everyone else around you is rich Tell that to the fucking poor people that live in rich neighborhoods and have to clean their fucking garbage and clean their bathrooms. Please. ADK is caked up in, in Oklahoma. People forget that like cost of living is severely different in different parts of this country. Like what kind of idiotic nonsense is this? What you think fucking move to San Francisco then dude if you think cost of living does not adjust. And, and shelter, which is a necessity for survival, does not immediately skyrocket depending on where you live. And for people who are saying, just move out of LA, forehead, why don't you fucking move out of whatever bumfuck part of the country you live in then? Think about that. Why don't you move from one bumfuck part of the country you live in to another bumfuck part of the country? It should be easy, right? Oh, wait, it's not that fucking easy, you Ben Shapiro fucks. Why do you think when you work in a, in a, um, low income like if you work in oklahoma for example why does your salary immediately skyrocket if you fucking make a, a, a lateral move from the same company within the same company you could have the same exact job but in oklahoma you get paid 70k or 80k but in los angeles you get paid 100k plus why do you think that happens do you think there's a specific reason do you think people are just like oh you made it you're in la now we love you more so here's Here's just like 30 extra thousand dollars just for fun, just for the fuck of it. No. Dude, I don't get it. Why don't you move to the Appalachian Mountains, dude, where you can live, you can, you can, you can, you know, live in a, you can purchase a house for like fucking 200K or 100K, live there comfortably. Oh, the job opportunities that you literally worked for your entire life, they don't exist there. Ah, just move anyway, dude. At least you have a house now. If the median household income in LA is 64K, then how is it 250K middle class? $80,000 for an individual, or was it $80,000? I think it's $70,000 for an individual. Making $70,000 a year in Los Angeles is like the bottom for living, a, uh, living in a situation where you're not completely burdened and can live normally. That's where I was basing my $250,000 a year in Los Angeles Chad off of. Pepeka. He's talking about 250k household income, not individual income. My dad made 200k a year before he retired. We live in Pasadena, just north of LA. These morons don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're solidly middle class. These shadows are dumb slow. fucks. I make 22k a year in LA and I live fine. That is a lie. There is no way because I made 
$21,000 my first year in living in Los Angeles. And I literally lived, I, I basically ate trash and lived in the kitchen of a frat house. You, and, and that was free rent on top of that. So you're 100% lying. There is no way on the planet that like you live in LA and make $22,000 and you're fine. There is no way unless you live with your mom or something. Even, even then, I guess like your mom would pay for your food and stuff. Okay, I'm sorry for doubting you, Hassan. I looked on Zillow for $400,000. You can only get like a one or two bedroom apartment in LA. <laughs> like, like I, I've done that. I've literally had that experience. And I can tell you, it's not, I mean, I enjoyed it because I was young. I didn't give a fuck. But like, yeah, it is less than minimum wage. Yes, it is. I know. Are you in the American middle class? Find out with our income calculator. Wait, why is it just Los Angeles, Long Beach, Anaheim? What do we say? 250000 right? Like, this won't even put you in the, in the metro area. This is what I said. Based on your household income and the number of people in your household, you are in the upper income tier along with 17% of adults in the Los Angeles Beach, Anaheim area. You are in the upper income. Wait, what is this? His name Why is are you saying Hassan. leak? I don't have Move fucking four people in my household. This is not here. me. Okay, you're right. I mean, I think this methodology is still scuffed, but especially considering that this, this factors in areas that I mentioned... Uh, this factors in areas that I mentioned like East LA and shit like that. This is a gigantic area. For some comparison uh, to a sock dam, I make about 45k yearly and rent is around 500 a month in one of the larger cities in Sweden. But I have no out-of-pocket expenses other than food and stuff I want to buy like games, etc. You, you do have four. You have your mom, Murana, and Spaldinga. That's true. I do. Thank <laughs> you.